Welcome to part 6, the last part, of this Nordic Football Manager 2016 experiment where we've been trying to see if the Nordic nations can dominate world football and I think we can definitely say that they have dominated world football. They've all done really well, particularly Iceland and Finland who are going into this last part of the two most successful nations in this experiment so far. Iceland have won three World Cups and Finland have won two World Cups. Norway and Denmark have won one each. Now, a lot of you are interested in seeing the save files, so I've uploaded them to Mediafire. Link is in the description below. I've uploaded as many as, I, as many as I possibly can. So you can take a look at things in even more detail if you wish, or perhaps play with a Nordic nation on from a particular point, or a Nordic club as well. I've also uploaded the original data file to the Steam Workshop, so that link is in the description below as well, so you can play from right at the start if you wish. If you've enjoyed the experiment, please smash that like button, it would be much appreciated. Oh, it's been a marathon, it has, and I'm holidaying all the way up to the end of the World Cup in 2102 in this last part, so we've got three more World Cups to get through, and I guess three more European Championships. I thought we'd have a look at Sweden just before we holiday up to 2094 though because I think I've sort of neglected them the last couple of parts simply because they've been not so great. Uh, they obviously won the Euros in part four but in part five they just vanished off the scene. They are 16th in the world and they've they've been pretty consistent in terms of being in the top 20 generally in the world rankings the whole way through but never really been dominant have they? If we look at the World Cup, they were runners-up in 2042, as you can see there. But they've been a bit sporadic, sporadic, and they haven't qualified for a World Cup since 2078, so they've missed out on the last three. Euro-wise, they've pretty much gone to every single one, I think, going down the list here. 52, 48, 44, 40. I think they've actually qualified for every single one. They might be the only country to do that. Not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But they have won one European Championship and gone out in the second round far too many times. But the team, I don't know, it's it's not been the best. They've got a, a really good goalkeeper here in Joachim Molin, 182 current ability, looks very good, plays for Schalke. And, you know, a few other decent players, but arguably they've been the most disappointing team. They're the only team other than Fair Islands not to win the World Cup, so we'll have to see if they can win the World Cup today. On the subject of Fair Islands, I have boosted them. Now I've given Julian Peterson really high ability. He is the manager and I've maxed it out as high as possible in terms of current and potential ability simply because I think this could enable them to perhaps qualify for a, a European Championship and maybe even a World Cup. I've also given them some extra world-class players. Now I've done this because it's only a bit of fun, it's, it's the last part, and I thought, we want to see Fair Islands at least qualify for something, don't we? And a lot of people were requesting me to do this in the last couple of parts, so I have obliged, and we've got one player who is incredibly good. Now, this guy, I don't think I even boosted him. I pr I'm pretty sure this guy was already created as an incredible player on the game, so they've already got a world-class midfielder following in the footsteps of Dan Jacobson, one of the most legendary strikers in world football ever. But I have given, I've, I've, I think I've boosted a couple players, Jensen and Moore. So I've made them really good players. And I've increased the potential of certain players, as you can see here. Uh, this 19-year-old keeper, I've given them a world-class keeper, uh, a world-class centre-back. I've, I've basically boosted the young players. I've given them potential and we're seeing if they can reach that potential. And another striker as well, Peterson. 20-year-old Peterson, 189 potential. So I've given them a few players to to try and get them into a championship. And they're probably not going to win it, but you never know. Let's find out anyway. We're going to holiday through to, to, through to 2094. First of all, I've actually holidayed through to 2095 because the 2094 save is only partway through the World Cup. So I had to go to, through to this point to see the winners of the World Cup, which was actually... Spain, who managed to beat France. This isn't the World Cup, sorry, this is the European Championships. So it was Spain that beat France in Euro 2092. So Finland couldn't hold on to their title. But as usual, we'll just have a look at the group stages and go through the tournament to see how the Nordic nations did. You can see Iceland qualified, Norway qualified top of their group with nine points, Denmark top of their group with seven, Sweden also qualifying, Finland 
top of their group as well. Faroe Islands qualified. Yes, they went out with one point, but at least they qualified. Thank goodness for that. And we've got them up to 13th in the world, thanks to the players that I've put into the team and the manager as well. If we just look at the best players. Peterson, centre-back, 190 current ability. There's a few guys in there. That are very, they've got some really good players. Four players over 180 current ability. That should hopefully lead them to glory. Caps wise, they've got a guy with 116 caps, 70 goals as well. He plays for Real Madrid. This is, I think I did boost this guy. Not 100% sure who I boosted, but there was there was about five players that I did increase the potential slash current ability it was mainly potential that i improved so they can hopefully try and reach that potential they won't necessarily reach that potential but they have the potential to reach that potential so it's good to see them qualify hopefully they can go one step better in either the next world cup or the next european championships and this could probably this is probably the first time they've all qualified because i think the previous time fair islands made it i don't think we saw everyone qualify let's let's, let's just check iceland are in there norway that's two denmark three sweden four Sweet, uh, Finland 5 and Faroe Island 6, fantastic stuff. In the second round we saw Iceland crash out to Holland, Denmark beat Belgium 1-0, Sweden lost 4-1 to Italy, G Norway lost 2-1 to Norway and Finland went through on extra time. They always seem to do well in the Euros, don't they? But they lost against Germany in the quarterfinals. Denmark did go through though against Holland but they came a cropper against France. They, only, they didn't quite manage to get through to the final and... Once again, Denmark just falling short in this competition. We'll have a look at the records at the end of the experiment in a bit more detail for each tournament. So World Cup 2094 was won by Holland, beating Brazil in the final. And England finished third. So no Nordic nation this time around. That's the first time in a couple World Cups and the first time in a long time that we haven't seen a Nordic nation feature in the top three. But the big, biggest question is, Fairy Islands, did they make it? They did! Top of Group A. I didn't even have to get past Group A there. So they actually qualified and managed to win their group. An amazing achievement. Denmark also managed to qualify from their group, as did Norway in second place, and Finland and Iceland. But no Sweden in this World Cup, so we haven't managed to see every single Nordic nation get through because Sweden have let us down. And actually, I must confess, I, at this point, 2095, I decided Sweden have been pretty average lately. And I, have de I decided to boost them slightly. I gave them a couple of players with high potential. Because I feel a bit sorry for Sweden. If we're going to be Fair Islands who haven't won a World Cup or Euros, we might as well boost Sweden who have won a Euros, but they haven't won the World Cup. So... We're just giving them a helping hand for the last seven years. It might not do anything. It might be too little, too late for them. But I'm sure you guys don't mind too much. Just just to see if we can get Sweden to win the World Cup as uh, the other four have. And Faroe Islands possibly could, maybe. They obviously didn't win this one. They did beat Nigeria in the second round, though, to go through. If just look. Peterson with the goal in the first minute. Plays for Lazio. We also saw Denmark lose against Brazil on penalties. Iceland beat Colombia 2-0. Finland destroy Norway. Revenge there. 3-0 win against Norway in the second round. Quarter-final stage, Faroe Islands. They beat Argentina to get through to the semi-finals. They must have, must have finished fourth in this. Finland and Iceland went out. Unbelievable achievement from Faroe Islands. They lost 3-0 against Brazil. But third place player, if they lost an extra time, they took England to extra time at the World Cup. And incredible achievement from them that is fantastic 36 shots for England to Fair Islands 5 but oh, I'm proud of them I know we boosted them but we only gave them four or five better quality players and a really good manager and it just makes a massive difference it is a short-term thing because those guys will die out and they probably won't replace them with really good players but you know just for the this bit of fun for the last part it's amazing so the first World Cup they qualify for they actually finished fourth. So Euro 2096 unfortunately wasn't won by a Nordic nation. But Norway did get to the final but they lost against Germany. So a bit unlucky for Norway trying to win their first European Championships. Do, have they won it? Wait let me check. No they haven't. In fact that was their first final. So a bit unfortunate for, for Norway there. Who did qualify top of their group 9 points. Denmark went through from Group C, as you can see there. Finland topped their group once again. Iceland top of their group. And Sweden bottom of their group. Didn't qualify once again. Once again, just underperforming. 
Once again, once again, once again. <laughs> Fair Islands didn't make it this time. Perhaps their bubble has burst after two good tournaments. Maybe all their best players have now finished. I said it would be a short-term fix, but at least we saw Fair Islands get to a Euros, get to a World Cup and finish fourth. Really good achievement. Anyway, in the second round, Denmark lost 3-0 against Norway and Finland beat Scotland 5-1. What a win for them. Iceland unfortunately crashed out in the second round though. Quarter final stage, Finland lost against Belgium, Norway beat France, so they made it to the semi final where they beat Belgium in extra time. And then in the final, let's see what happened. 1 0 win, so close, so unlucky. Went with a 4 5 1 again. They've still got the hero of their last, of their only World Cup victory up front, Harvard Mohus. The best player in the world. I think he's won a lot of. A lot of golden balls and world player of the years in a row now. He's 36 years old on this. 2098, still their main strike. 183 goals in 154 games. That is crazy. And he actually won the world golden ball at the age of 36. Look at this. Only Stefan Johnson, a different Norwegian, has prevented him from winning it. How many years in a row? So he won it first of all. In fact, he won it in 2084 for the first time in the world golden ball. Then there was a two year gap, then it's his second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Is that more than Messi? Because if so, he is arguably the world's greatest ever player and he's come from Norway. So Norwegians, be proud of him. He still got, scored 37 goals in 45 games. At the age of 36 for Spurs, he's a Tottenham legend of course. Let's just have a look at the Premier League. <laughs> Despite having the best player in the world, Spurs still haven't managed to win the league. Look at that. But he stayed there, despite not being at the best team in the world, and scored bucket loads of goals every year. What a player. What a player he is. When is he going to retire? Will we see him in 2102? 183 goals in 154 games for Norway. That is ridiculous. I think he is the best player we've seen. My favourite is Dan Jacobson, but Harvard Mohus has to be the best player of the series. Of course, it's so laggy now I've got through to this year. So World Cup 2098 was won by England and they beat Denmark in the final. Oh, Denmark so close to their second World Cup title. Norway also very close to the second World Cup title finish in third. Really unlucky for them. I always say unlucky, but you know, they just, they didn't, they weren't good enough basically. Looking at the groups then. This was hosted by Canada again. How many World Cups have they hosted? Iceland won their group. We saw Norway qualify from in second place from their group. Faroe Islands made it to a second World Cup in a row, but they didn't qualify this time. They're currently 21st in the world rankings. They've got no manager at the moment, but Peterson, one of the guys that I improved, still a really good player. He's only 27. Plays for Chelsea. He's moved there for 40 million just now, and he's their star man, but he couldn't quite make them qualify from their group. Denmark won their group with nine points. No Sweden. Again, what the hell is wrong with Sweden? I've even given them a helping hand slightly. Hopefully they do something in the last couple of tournaments. Okay, second round, Iceland lost against Japan. Norway beat Germany 2-0. Really good win there. Uh, Denmark beat Iran 5-1. Towards the final stage then, Norway beat Japan 2-0. Denmark beat Italy 3-1 in extra time. These are the only two nations left. Semi-final, Denmark beat France and England lost uh, beat Norway on penalties. So close to being an all Nordic final again. Norway then beat France 3-1. <laughs> Harvard Mohus with a goal at the age of 36. And then in the final, Denmark lost 2-1 against Italy. Italy, England, what am I talking about? Smart with the goal in the 27th minute, then Schmidt equalised a minute later, and then Billy Allen for England a minute after that. Three goals in three minutes. Flurry of goals at Denmark lined up with a 3-1-4-2 formation. Really interesting. Let's just look at the goal scorer, Schmidt. Oh, he's good, isn't he? He's 26. He's only got 11 caps. Plays for Man City. Once again, it shows the strength and depth of these, these teams that this guy only has 11 caps. Let's just look at the national team. The team that were runners-up in the 2098 World Cup. Their best player. Oh, there's two really... Oh, th three very good players. They've produced... A golden generation, Oli Larson is their keeper, 192 current ability, possibly the best keeper we've seen so far. Then Thomas Nilsson, defensive player, the legendary midfielder, plays for Chelsea, exceptional guy. And then Johan Vendelbo, uh, a striker, 
35 goals in 43 games, plays for Man United. Their top scorer, though, is, actual, is actually Daniel Boy, 40 goals in 38 games at the age of 30. So well done to Denmark for getting through to another final. Unfortunately, it was just a step too far for them. So it's 2,102, and this is where I will be ending the experiment. I have um, died by the looks of it, but I've still got very good brown hair. What the hell has happened? <laughs> what? I have to be dead. I'm still. Uh, I think I've been hundred for the uh, one hundred for the last few years. So I'm. I'm dead, but still have perfect brown hair. That is hilarious. Oh, amazing! Sweden have won a second European Championship. So they won it in two thousand and seventy-two, and they've come back. Obviously, I gave them a little bit of a helping hand in improving the potential of, I think, two or three players in the Swedish squad, but. Even, it's still a good achievement, despite the fact that I did give them a helping hand. I can't even remember who I changed in the Swedish squad. I think it was Peterson. Simon Peterson, another Peterson. I, I, di I didn't even touch this guy, who's, who looks incredible. Stromberg. Simon Ring, I remember changing him. I gave him a, a boost in the uh, old potential ranking. But they've got some really good players. They've suddenly produced a, a Golden Glutter players. Four, three, of, three of them I did change myself. But... Um, it's enabled them to actually go on and win the Euros, which is great to see because they've been the least successful team apart from Faroe Island, so it's nice to see them win something for you Swedish guys watching. Norway qualified from their group. Denmark and Sweden. Sweden qualified in second place. Iceland went through top spot. Finland also qualified top spot, but no Faroe Islands this time, unfortunately. Second round then, Norway lost on penalties. Denmark lost on penalties. Finland went through an extra time. Iceland won 4-0 against Hungary. And Sweden went through an extra time against Spain. That's a good win. Quarter final stage, Finland beat Turkey. Iceland beat Germany in extra time. And Sweden beat England on penalties. This is a good tournament for the Nordic nation. Sweden beat Iceland 2-1. Finland lost against Portugal, unfortunately, in the semi-final before Sweden beat Portugal an extra time. Peterson with the goal, the first goal, and Anderson with the goal in extra time to win the game. Then he got five goals in 17 games for Sweden, but he's the hero for Sweden. Now, before we look at the last World Cup, I'm just gonna go through everything else in detail because I've actually, and we're actually gonna have a look at the World Cup in a bit more detail. I've holidayed up to the second round stage of the World Cup and we're just going to follow the journey of the remaining Nordic nations. Let's have a look at the International League first then. And as you can see, Norway once again have been amazing in this competition. So they've won it how many times? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times in total. Is that a record? Yep, they are the kings of the International League. We can officially say that they have won it the most times. We just look at these records here. I should go back to the European Championships and look at the records actually in a second before I move on. Most goals in a game. Annual Dan Alan Danielson for Fair Islands versus San Marino in 2020. It's really interesting actually. 102 goals in 121 games for Fair Islands. We didn't even know about him. He was in the early days of this experiment. So Fair Islands have certainly produced some of the some of the best players we've seen so far. In fact, he's the top goal scorer for any year. You can have a look. I'll just go across these and you can have a look at things if you are interested in this. In fact, you can download the save files and look yourself. But the key one is Norway, most time winners. And Fair Islands, most games without losing between 2018 and 2092. That's some achievement. Must add Finland also managed to win it. But I can't forget Finland there. So they've won one more international league and they also finished second in 2091 Norway actually lost their first final recently just against Germany in the in the most latest one so this is the European Football Championship records page as you can see most time winners is Spain with eight but the biggest win for Finland 7-0 against Northern Ireland in 2092 anything else featuring our teams yes most games without conceding Finland seven times Top goal scorer was a Danish guy, 10 goals in one championship. And the youngest player was actually a Faroe Islands player. So Faroe Islands, Faroe Islands are definitely featuring in these records, aren't they? Okay, Confederations Cup then. We've only had two since the last update, since the last video. And Brazil have won both of them. Norway have finished third, so that's the only thing to add to the, the spreadsheet. If we just look at the Euro Cup then to see who's managed to win all the Euro Cups. Oh, yes, we've got another 
Finnish team in their cups have managed to win it. And FC Lassie in 2091, I said they were doing really well. So we've got two Finnish teams winning this competition since the last video. That's really good. Well done to them. So the Champions League then. Have we seen any winners since 2019? I don't think so. No finalists either. So no Finnish teams managed to... Oh, no Nordic teams managed to win the Champions League. The only team to feature in a final were Molder in... 2050 where they lost against Bayern Munich in the final. So we've already seen the golden ball in a bit of detail. As you can, as you know, Harvard Mohas, the Norwegian, managed to win it many years in a row. We've got Stefan Johnson, also a Norwegian, featuring. And Peter Christensen once again featuring for Denmark. I think Norway will probably be out on top now, just ahead of Denmark, but we'll see. Yeah, especially because Philip Roy Harris with Norway as well. Norway have produced exceptional players in the last few years. And um, World Player of the Year is probably very similar, except an Icelandic guy managed to win in 2100. There's a few differences actually in World Player of the Year, but mainly Harvard and Mohus did feature. He is retired as a footballer, but is now a director of football at the age of 40. In the end, he did finish with 183 goals in 154 games for Norway. So it's the 2102 World Cup. And this is the second round lineup. We've got Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Iceland in there. Unfortunately, no Faroe Islands. Looking at the groups, we saw Finland top their group. Sweden go through in second place. Norway go through in second place. Denmark go through in top spot. And Iceland go through in top place. We'll just have a look at Faroe Islands for one last time in this experiment. 52nd in the world. They have dropped their little bubble has burst because obviously I boosted them at the start of 2090 and it's now 12 years later so all those players have now moved on and retired so they are down there Denmark third in the joint third in the world rankings Norway Finland Sweden Iceland all in the top 10 which is brilliant to see you can see a list of the teams here let's have a look at the finances actually Tottenham the richest team on this 1.96 billion where's the Nordic nations Finland cups they're the highest one, 353 million. Iceland have Fjolnir, 281 million pounds worth they are. Quite interesting. If you download, oh, there's a Thailand team in there. Burrowrum United above Leicester City. Newcastle United, that's random. But yeah, if you download the last save file that I upload to Mediafire, you can have a look at everything in lots of detail. I just thought I'd upload quite a few save files so you can sort of play from different points if you're interested. You can see league wise, reputation wise, this is how it is. You can see the Finnish Premier Divisions up there. Going a bit off topic from the World Cup, but I thought I might as well show you these things in a bit more detail. Whilst we're here, the Finnish Premier Division is in 7th, Icelandic's up in 8th, Norwegian is 10th, Swedish is 11th. Uh, Finnish First Division doing well, up in 21st place. We just look at nation coefficients and that sort of thing. Norway are top at the moment. Nation club coefficients. Finland 7th, Iceland 8th, Norway 10th, Sweden 11th. Qualification places you can see here. Finland get one place. Well, Finland, Iceland, Norway and Sweden get one place in the Champions League group stages. And they also get one team in the best placed qualifying round. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gradually go through the World Cup in real... Well, not in real time, but I'm going to show you the results from each round as we go through for the final time. So, so far, 2nd of July, we've had half of the second rounds played. Finland are crushed out 2-0 to Portugal. They don't have the chance of getting a third World Cup. Will I? Well, that does mean Iceland are the most successful team in terms of World Cup victories because no one can catch them. No one can match their three. Finland are out. Sweden have gone through against Germany. Can they win their first World Cup? Obviously, I've given them a little bit of a boost. Some of their players will be getting on a bit. Simon Ring is one of the ones that I improved, though. But can they be the fifth Nordic nation to, to win a World Cup with my helping hand? We'll see. Right then, the rest of the second round. Norway went out on penalties to Italy. Ah, oh, Norway hoping for their second World Cup victory. It's not going to happen. France... Uh, Denmark, sorry, went through against Brazil on penalties. Really well done for them. They're looking for their second World Cup. And Iceland, looking for their fourth World Cup, beat Turkey 2-0. Oh, Sweden go through an extra time against Spain in the quarterfinals. 118th minute winner for Bjorklund. What a player he is. 23 years old, 24 goals in 26 games. Plays for Real Madrid. Iceland beat Italy 
on penalties. 8-7. And then Denmark with a 2-1 win against Uruguay. So three Nordic nations in the semi-final once again. Oh, we could see an all-Nordic final. I really hope so. Oh, Sweden. So close to making your first World Cup final. But you lose 3-2 against arguably the most successful team in this experiment. Some of you may have thought it maybe would be a bit unfair if Sweden were to make it through to the final, considering I did give them a little bit of an extra boost. And I've done nothing to Iceland. They've just naturally done this, which is amazing. Denmark, though, thrashed Portugal 4-0. What a win. Fleming Bake, or however you pronounce that, scored four goals in this game. 23 goals in 22 games for Denmark now. Plays for Bayern Munich. 20 on finishing, 20 on composure, 19 off the ball. What a player this guy is. How has he only got 28 cap, uh, 22 caps at the age of 28? Shows how strong a team Denmark have had lately. So the final will be between Denmark and Iceland. We will watch it, just like we watched the Norway versus Finland one, to end this experiment, just with a bit of excitement. Who are you guys supporting, Denmark or Iceland? Denmark aiming for their second World Cup, Iceland aiming for their fourth so the third place playoff, Sweden, they finished fourth, they lost against Portugal, poor old Sweden. They just couldn't quite do it, could they? They finished fourth twice, runners up once. Oh, they, I'm saying, they've, I got that wrong, I said they could reach their first World Cup final. They've already reached one, haven't they? Runners up, and they reached one in the 50s as well, didn't they? Losing against Brazil, 1958, I think. But in this experiment, they just, it was one step too far for them to win this competition. So here we go, massive game for both nations. Let's just, like I did in the, the previous one that we watched, let's just have a quick look. It's Iceland are the favourites, but we'll look at the Danish side first. First in the world rankings. So even though they're first in world, the world rankings, Iceland are favourites, probably because of their history, winning three World Cups already. This is their team. Their best player is Fleming, who managed to get 23 goals in 22. Ole Larsson, also up there with 186 current ability and goal. Vendelbo as well, 183 current ability. Fleming actually had 196 potential but never actually managed to reach it. But they've got some very talented players in that team. Caps wise, this guy, 34 year old, has 104 caps for Denmark. Their top scorer is in fact Vendelbo. 55 goals in 72 games, what a name, Vendelbo. The Icelandics, they've just produced so many amazing golden generations, haven't they? Their best player is Gustafsson, 187 current ability, 31 years old on this now, 56 goals in 66 games for Iceland, plays for Benfica. Next up is, uh, a, they've got really good strikers, they've got four strikers, their best players, four of their best players, in fact all four of their best players are strikers. So they should be scoring goals in this. They've got a guy, the goalkeeper's got 100 and 51 caps. Unbelievable. Plays for Chelsea. And goals wise, their top scorer is Omerson. 30 years old. 71 goals in 56 games. Norway are up against it. Can they? Not Norway. Denmark. I'm getting mixed up. Denmark are up against it today. Can they hold out against Iceland, who are three times world champions? the most successful nation. Perhaps they already are the most successful nation in this Nordic experiment because they have won the most World Cups. Well, have a look at the spreadsheet at the end and you guys in the comment section below can let me know who you think was the most successful nation as Iceland go one-on-one -on -one there. You can look at all the evidence of the numbers. I'm not going to tell you who I... Well, yeah, I don't know. It's very close. It's really hard because obviously Iceland, the easiest option is to say Iceland won three World Cups, they're the most successful, but they didn't win the most European Championships, they haven't won the most Confederation Cups or International Leagues or Golden Balls, World Player of the Year, that sort of thing. But overall, when it's come down to it, then the biggest tournament in the world, they have won the World Cup three times and it could be the fourth time today. Let's find out. Here you go Denmark on the counter, Jakobsen running in field. Oh it's, oh, it's a bit of a scramble, but Iceland can clear it. Is Fleming up front going to fire Denmark to glory? That name, the goal, Icelandic goalkeeper, how the hell do you pronounce that? Voldemarsson, I can pronounce that, but I mean, what even is this letter? Is it a P? A D? Icelandic guys, not Nordics, whoever, if anyone can understand that. I mean, that, it's an incredible name, I love it, but still. 
How do you pronounce it? Sounds like a Sigur Ross song from their first album. Here go Denmark. Can they open the score in Schmidt? Into Olsen. Into Bake. Oh, it's a brilliant save by the Icelandic keeper. Half time. Nil nil. This is not the most exciting World Cup final in the world. The Finland Norway one was was actually pretty good. Four goals. This is this is looking dangerous, but no, Denmark can counter here. No, they can't. They give it the passings. Not great in this final. Here's Iceland. Gearson. Oh, it's a brilliant save by the keeper, Larsen. Where's this final even being played? I don't know. It's in Bar Oh, it's the new Camp. Oh, this is incredible as Iceland take the lead in the new Camp in Spain. Fruiksen with the goal that could win Iceland a fourth world title. I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh, here go, here go Denmark. Vendel, Vendelibibo, Vendelibo, Vendel, I can't remember his name. Ramkide into Jewel, out wide. Oh, it's a good ball in. Can Denmark equalise? Oh, he's hit the crossbar, I think. Voldemarsen may have got a hand to that. We've got 10 minutes, under 10 minutes to go. Are Iceland going to hold on for their fourth World Cup? They've, it's almost a fitting way to end the experiment because Iceland have just been brilliant. And they've got 30 seconds to hang on to this. Can Denmark take it to extra time? I don't think they can. 20 seconds to go. Iceland just need to hold on to the ball. They think it's all over. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. I wanted in it is it it is now moment, but it well it, it is it is now. I've messed that up. Yeah, well done to Iceland. They've won their fourth World Cup. Man of the match goes to Lodberg of Denmark though. Thirteen shots to Iceland's sixteen. Four, it's very equal game, let's be honest. And Denmark are unfortunate to not to win this. Magnificent achievement from them. Let's just look at that. All the winners. All the runners up in third place places. We'll have a look at the records. Brazil were the, the most time winners with seven by the this year. That highest attendance is ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, is there any... Oh, Finland. Most games won in a row. Finland between 2066 to 2070. Most games without losing as well. Most team goals. Norway in 2058. 31 goals in the competition. That's amazing. And they also had the top goal scorer, Magnus Tangered, with 16 goals. In the 2058 World Cup. Most goals in a match? No. Most assists? There we go. Olofsson. Icelandic. All the way back in 2042. I think that's it. I don't, I don't think there's anything else really. This season, we could look at this I guess. Highest attendance was Finland versus Spain. <laughs> the final didn't even beat it. This guy was the top goal scorer in the competition. Bjorklund for Sweden. So they did get the top goal scorer award at least. But it has been, it's been fascinating. I found it really interesting. I hope, I'm sure, I know loads of you guys have because you've kept watching the videos and I really do appreciate it. Sweden couldn't quite manage to win a World Cup. They finished fourth in this World Cup, even with my helping hand for the last seven years or so of this experiment. I guess it was just a bit, a little bit too late for them to catch up. Iceland, most successful team in the World Cup. Denmark, runners up in the last two World Cups. How unlucky is that? They could have ended up with three titles, but... They end up with one. Just before we have a look at the Excel spreadsheet to end things, I'm just going to go through all the nations, all six nations, have a look at the a few key records, such as top goal scorer, which is Marcus Anderson for Sweden, 145 goals in 148 games for Sweden. You can see a few other things here, most assists, most goals in a match, and that sort of thing. Best 11 as well could be... Could be pretty interesting looking at this. You can see Peterson's on there, which is one of the guys that I did actually boost at the end of the experiment. I think yeah, he's only 25 and he's on. Actually, this is the best 11 from recent. No, it is the overall best. He's on the overall best 11 and he's only got 29 caps. That doesn't make any sense. And Bjorklund as well. This can't be right. Best 11 overall across all the seasons. And we've got a few players in here that are still playing. Interesting. Faroe Islands, these are the records. Top goal scorer, Dan Jacobson. Well, actually, he's not the top scorer. He's the top goal scorer for 2069 in one year. Alan Danielson was the top goal scorer ever for Faroe Islands. 122 goals in 121 caps. Most cap player, Trigvi Fru. We can't actually see him, unfortunately. Can't see the best 11. That's annoying. I suppose it's because I didn't save them properly or don't have the league loaded, maybe. Norway, all-time top goal scorer, of course, was Harvard Mohus. 
Uh, most cap player though was Trond Rise. I remember him. He's only 38. He played in the the World Cup winning team, didn't he? And he's got 165 caps. That's crazy. Best 11. This is the best 11. How's Mo? Oh, this doesn't make any sense because Mohus isn't in there. So this can't be right, surely. It definitely can't be right. If Mohus isn't in the best Norwegian 11, because there's some real, there's no point even looking at this list. Maybe someone can let me know, but oh, he's, he's on the bench. I mean, <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense that. Denmark then, just let's look at the records. Michael Thompson, top goal scorer, 90 goals in 113 caps. Most cap player was actually a real life player. Looking at Finland then, top goal scorer, Tobias Rilkanen. 35 years old, he retired. 123 goals in 117 games. Played, played for Man City, as you can see there. Most cap player was Jan Luttonen, though. He got 57 goals in 161 games. And lastly, Iceland. Four times World Cup winners. How many times have I said that? Records. Hranar Svarason was their top goal scorer. 134 goals in 148 games. Played... Around about 20 years ago, played for Atletico and AS Monaco. Most cap player though was Einarsson, 155 caps. Retired many years ago in 2037. So this is the last spreadsheet. I think I've updated everything okay. I hope I have. There might be a few errors in there. Someone can look through the whole <laughs> save files if you're really that interested and make sure it's completely right. But as you can see here, Iceland, four World Cups. Finland 2, Denmark and Norway get 1 each, Sweden the best they could manage was runners up, 4th place twice as well, saw Norway finish runners up once, Sweden once, Finland 3 times, Denmark twice and Iceland twice, 6 World Cup finals for Iceland, they won 4 of them, that's really good, and 2 third places as well, who'd have thought Iceland would be the most successful team in the world stage before we started this, European Championships, a different story, Sweden and Finland actually the joint most successful of 2, and Iceland managed to win one. Norway finished runners up, as did Denmark. That second round stage was just ridiculous with so many teams getting stuck in that second round. European International League, Norway, absolutely dominant. If you count up the overall number of titles won, Norway were actually the most successful simply because they managed to win 10 international leagues, which is just insane. Iceland were actually runners up five times. We saw Denmark and... Finland win it twice, Sweden only runners up once. Confederations Cup, Finland the only team to win it, they won it three, te three times, saw so Iceland runners up twice and Denmark once, and then number of Euro uh, European League or Europa League titles, Norway won one and Finland won two, and then World, World Golden Ball, Norway ended up being the most successful nation in the end, they won 14 Golden Balls and 14 World Player of the Years. Denmark second with 14 and 15. Faroe Islands, at least they managed to get one on the board for each with Dan Jacobson, my favourite player of the series. But you have to say uh, Harvard Mohus for Norway was the best player we ever saw. What a player. So thank you so much for watching this experiment. All the save files are in the, the link in the description below, as is the database file on the Steam Workshop. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. I'll be coming back with another experiment soon, I'm sure. I've already said that I'll do the Home Nations at some point. Uh, not immediately. There'll be a bit of a gap. I always like to spread these things out. But it's been a lot of fun. And I hope to see you very soon, guys.